Well, hello there, everyone of all creature types. Um, um, guys, I got a my I got a migraine. You wouldn't believe. <sighs> I just canceled the live stream the other day, and but I, you know, it's still here. But I want to do this, so we're gonna do Battle Box. We're gonna open Battle Box. We just got Battle Box thanks to Steve. Steve's always awesome. Yes, Peta, we're gonna do Battle Box. We are. We're gonna do it right now. So I took some uh, I took some various things that are supposed to make a migraine go away. We're gonna do our caffeine. Look, it's smart energy. I'm glad I'm doing smart energy and it's stupid energy. It's stupid to do it at 12, 12 in the morning, but fucking hell, I don't give a damn. That's exactly what Jimi Hendrix said when he covered Sunshine of Your Lovin' by Cream uh, live. But uh, anyway, great, great cover. Um, so. Let's do this. Let's open this thing. Let's do this right. This is uh, Freedom Ice C4. I'm drinking it because it says C4. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. It's, yeah, that, that tracks, that tracks. So, old school Griptilian guys with a not so old school hand, you can't even see in this light, who cares? Who cares? Let's do this. Dun 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 on. Dun 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 dun. God, that makes my head hurt. I need to stop. So, you guys ready? So this is May 2022. Now we've been hoping that with the new management, leadership, ownership, whatever ship, all the ships, new ships that, you know, we're going to start seeing a lot. I see Fox USA. Fox Americas. Oh, it's not Fox USA anymore. It's Fox Americas. Um, I don't know. What do we got? Let's see. Here's Mission 87. Adventure delivered. Got, I'm going to get... It's a big box. I'm going to get everything out of the box, and then we're going to see everything we got in it. All right. So, we got one of them's. We got some of them's. We got... We got a... We got a... A dis. We got a dat. We got a whatever the fuck. We got a thingy. We got like bike chains or I don't know, rubbery things. And then we got a this. And that's all it's in the box. PETA, box. Box for you. There you go. Boxing day. So let's see. What do we got? We got one, two. Are these items? Are these actual items? I don't know if these are actual items. One, two, three. But all right. To, we got some items. We got some items in the box, and I am going to hold them down here, removed from the table, so that as we go through stuff, we have some room. Um, oh, I remember this thingy. We got we got this thing once upon a time. Remember that? Remember this cutting thingy? Huh? Um, yeah. And I was like, if I had that one, I could pretend it was a raptor claw. We'll talk about what does this go to? Oh, okay. we'll probably talk about this later. Um, let's get that on the floor. I don't know what these things are still. I don't know what that is. Um, but let's go. So, if you are not familiar with Battle Box, four levels in Battle Box. You've got the basic, the advanced, the pro, the pro plus. And they'll build off each other, right? So, like, if you order the pro plus, which is what we got here, you get everything, including the knife of the month or the whatever it is of the month these days because they don't call it that anymore because they don't always give you an actual decent knife anymore. But anyway, so, yeah, okay. So we're going to go start with the basic box. Um, now, the whole package, everything, this is an item. This is an actual item. Okay, cool. Great. Wonderful. Fucking awesome. Um, so the whole thing, Pro Plus, is like 150 something $160 a month to get everything. To get everything in here. All of it. And I honestly don't know off the top of my head the prices for the other stuff. But I am going to have another drink because my head is killing me. Medical fact, caffeine helps relieve headaches. And when you get like Excedrin and like all those special migraine headache formulas, it's usually just the same brand of painkiller you're buying with extra caffeine added to it. So yeah. So in the basic box, we're gonna start with the Clean Freak Body Wipe 12 pack. Yep, here it is. And there's a coupon in it 
we have Steve's permission to open stuff up and look at stuff and, you know, do stuff, the stuff we need to do. It's refreshingly bold. It's confident clean. However, it's confidently clean, but it's apparently has not been to grade school to learn how to spell clean, but that's another thing altogether. Okay, whatever. Scent free. How bold can it be if it's got no scent? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Guys, this is not going to be the best battle box I'm buying. Um, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get through it, but man, it's, I'm not going to have my usual energy. So you get a 30% off with the code BATTLE. Battle. You know, because they spell battle box like that. Um, and here, you guys want to scan that shit? Scan that shit, yo. Uh, so normal. Ooh, what's in there? Is that rolled up? What do I do? Is it? Is that tampon? It feels very. You shoved that up your ass. What do you do with that? Is that how you get clean? Weird. Like I was thinking it would be like a folded up, you know, wipe. Uh, it's 100% biodegradable. Odor neutralizer. Upwind approved. Why would it be upwind approved? Should it be downwind approved? Like you're not gonna smell the person's shitty shit they're wiping off their body downwind? Just saying, what is upwind approved? That's gotta mean something that I just don't get. Contains aloe, alcohol free. This is one large body wipe. And it's antibacterial. Okay. Benzoconium. Alright. So they this is they put this in little little pads, little little one by one pads in first aid kits. Um, I've never seen an entire pad of it for cleaning your body. Um, actually, go ahead and I was not lying. It is shoving up your ass, rolled for your pleasure, and it is mostly odor free. So this is the this is really this is the large. One large body wipe. Let's see. Sturdy, pretty sturdy. It's a, it's a, it's a giant wet nap. It's a, it's a giant baby wipe, is what it is. And we've gotten these in these things before. Um, the fact that they are basically taking what is essentially a first aid item and making a whole body wipe out of it. I'm not going to get too into it. There are natural bacteria that live on your body and on your skin that are good for you that you need. I don't know if this takes into account that you may be killing that off, like depending on the situation. I'm not even going to, guys, I'm not going to get into it. $15 for 12 of these things. I wouldn't probably buy this myself. Um, the antibacterial one, I'd probably just buy like, like, it, you guys know how I feel about these. If I was going to buy it though, I wouldn't buy. The benzyl, benzylconia ones, because I just wouldn't. Um, I'd leave him the little ones in the first aid kit where they belong, but it's just, it's it's just overkill for like for like a cleaning thing. Um, but it cools you down, and it has, you know, they say it has the aloe and all that other stuff. Um, whatever, it's. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, you know, I don't, I don't feel like it's a battle box item. Again, um, this is not what I would consider. And I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to clog up the table this time when they don't like it. So I'll put them all up at the, at the end. But this is a uh, first item. Don't like it. Like, this is the kind of thing I would expect in like the nomadic box. Remember the nomadic box that they kept charging me for and sending me, even though I tried to cancel it like three times. Yeah. Pete is in the box, by the way. I missed throwing that in the garbage. Next, we're going to move on to the Fox Edge Arrowhead set. Because Fox Americas. Let's write a song about Fox Americas. This is $22. Let's see what we got. So we got some 50 cord. Somebody blew a load on this for us before they packed it. Great. Um, that the do not eat. I need another drink. You guys are going to see pictures soon of some full Cerakote. I mean, the entire thing's 
full multicam Cerakote AR platforms, including a really unique SBR that me and Darren have been working on at the shop. They look amazing. I'll probably have pictures on Instagram really soon. It's a lot of work though. So what do we got? Now, I remember they, they gave us a set of Michael Hawk arrowheads once upon a time, and I still have them. The boys love them. They don't do anything with them. They like to take them out of the package and look at them. They come in a better package than this, and they give you more. They were more expensive at the same time, too. So, Fox Edge. I remember, so growing up in Queens, story time. Do -do -do. Um, growing up in Queens, there was a Queens County farmhouse. And it was, like, really close to the apartment we grew up in in Queens. Like, really close. And every year they'd have, I don't know, I don't know if this is politically incorrect to say now, but then again, I also don't give a fuck. They would have the powwow, the you know, back then they called it the Indian powwow. Now I guess Native American powwow. I don't know if the word powwow is is offensive to people, but if it is, I said it. Powwow. But you know, so they'd have like all the demonstrations and like you could buy all the stuff, and um, they would always have like napped stone arrowheads. And my favorite thing to get there every year was just the stone arrowheads because I felt like those were cool things to have. I don't know what I ever did with them, but um, so let's see. What does it say? What these are made of at all? The arrowhead set is primarily designed for use as a secondary blade in a personal survival situation or anywhere else you may find a use. The nubs, <laughs> I like the word nub. Tato's tail was a nub. The nubs at the base of the, <laughs> they have nub and tang in the same sentence. It's too late and I'm too tired and they put nub and tang in the same sentence. So <laughs> fuck those guys. The nubs at the base of the, tang. <laughs> the nub is at the base of the, hold on. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm gonna get it together. The nub at the base of the... Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. The nub at the base of the tang along with the, along with the hole. I can't. I can't. I can't. I didn't make that dirty. They did it. They did it. They knew what they were doing when they wrote it. Wow, that feels sharp, though. And so this is either a very cheap stainless steel or a carbon because it is covered in some oils of some kind. Um, and what kind of arrowhead is this? This is a saw. So they say arrowhead, but you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking they say blade, right? Makes it to lash the arrowhead to a stick. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Make it a, a spear or lance. So I was thinking, okay, maybe these are arrowheads. This is just where I'm going. Like, I'm, I'm trying to remember. Boy, it's been a long time since I had to go to, like, an actual survival school class. But what I'm thinking is, sure, arrowheads here. But, like, this looks like the kind of thing, like, you would split a green, you know, green stick down the middle. So that's some flexibility. And you'd lash this in. And then you could, you know, you could use this to, like, saw. So, I mean... Because this, uh, you're not shooting this, like, arrow style at anything. Not this one. Um, but, it's like some decent teeth. Not a lot of flex in it. So, I don't know what happens when this thing heats up. You know, when you've been sawing a lot. But, I am feeling remarkably charitable with these arrowheads right here for some reason. I don't know. Normally, this is the kind of thing where I think you guys know I would immediately tell the nub to go fuck the tang right in its hole but maybe it's because i'm just feeling so miserable with my headache right now i just I'm like i don't want to be mean to it i i don't know what it is about this um gotta get this is just this is acetone by the way guys i'm just trying to get that oil off there so i can get like a good um just a good feel for like what we look when, I, when i'm done doing this like plain old rubbing alcohol would work just fine for what I'm doing right now or even Windex or soapy water but you really want to be scrubbing soapy water on something like this um, I just want to I wish it said what kind of steel this is I mean of course it doesn't and it's made in China so listen I mean general rule of thumb we all know if they don't tell you what kind of steel it's made of they're not very proud of what kind of steel it's made of and it's probably not very good Again, you know, I, I'm doing this all, you know, unboxing style. So I, I don't have, like, the resource right in front of me to go online and see what it's made of or anything. And I, I may be motivated in the editing process to go do it, or I may not. And then one of you awesome guys, because there's, there's awesome dudes all the time, and dudettes and lamets and llamas and everything that, like, will 
do the do the quick search while they're watching and, and put it in the comments. I don't know, but this one I just noticed. I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick it up. This one has some edge damage right there. Can you guys see it? See that that edge as compared to the other? This one came messed up a little bit. But let's see. I, for an arrowhead. Now, of course, you know, you could go, you can go get a set of like razor sharp broadheads that are literally razor sharp. But this is, this piece of money's already kind of messed up, but this is actually a lot better than I thought this was going to be. This is cutting better than I thought it was going to cut right out of the package, honestly. Um, and that's not great, but it's better than I thought it was going to do. So I thought we were just going to tear this piece of paper down like this. This is, this is the quality I thought we were going to get. Yeah, so now when you're when you're shooting an arrow and you've got velocity and physics behind you, this might be good enough. But they say you could use it as like a blade. I would definitely sharpen this if I was good, if I had to like use it. If this was my blade, if this is what I had to use. Um, and is this like real 550? This looks like real 550 cord, so you could use lashing this to stuff and whatever. I don't know. I mean. This is good. just because the entertainment value of laughing at this is going to take it out of the don't like it. I mean, the truth is, I I mean, where's the where's the the packaging here? Um, this is like plastic. It looks like leather, but it's plastic. It's got some nylon on it. The Michael Hawk ones that they gave us a while ago. Remember, I said they gave us more, and it was more expensive. But I, I can tell you right now, they were higher quality than this one. Uh, they also they didn't give us a bigger saw blade like this, but. Um, they gave us arrowheads and they were arrowheads and they were, there was like a, a, her, um, a, a, a trident cut, not a trident, but yeah, there was like a trident kind of one for like spear fishing and they were just different shapes for, I mean, um, I, I, you know, I'm proud, you know what, I'm not going to be charitable. I'm going to put this in don't like it too. They've proven that they can give us a better product than this. Um, and this is like El Cheapo stuff. This is just really cheap crap stuff uh, as far as I'm concerned. Now, remember, as I always say, this is my opinion in an unboxing, and I, I'm i always thrilled to hear if there's somebody that knows something about this that I don't know when, you know, when, when, when they are watching the video, maybe there is somebody that knows why this is the number one best Arrowhead set, and they're going to square me away, and they're going to say, you know what you didn't take into account, blah, blah, blah. I'd love to hear it from you. But I just, I, I feel like BattleBox can has and should do better so this is number two and don't like it all right moving on uh okay so <laughs> without reading anything i'm telling you like my initial impression is not only you know how we have like the 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 don't like it section but like the what in the holy motherfuck is this thing is this like a like a new version of like a slap bracelet like <laughs> like a jelly bracelet what is this i'm gonna read what this is the model Flexabeaner, well, that's just racist, is a new type of multi-tool. This is a multi-tool. This is a multi-tool. I can't wait. I cannot fucking wait. Sell me. Sell me, BattleBox. Sell me on this is a multi-tool. To be surprised at what this flexible and stretchy carabiner can do. Wrap up rope. Ten stakes. Okay. All right. Sure. $24. It just based on the fact they want $24 for this. So each one of these things is $12. $12. $12. So let me let me guess. So it does this for $12. It's a bracelet. $12. Um and I guess if you need to make it tighter, you can put it on another one, right? Is that what you can do? That's what you can do. Please, for the love of God, somebody out there tell me that they have used this thing and it has made an emergency tourniquet that saved the life of a Medal of Honor winner somewhere out in the field or something. Is this, re is this really... 
this is what they, this is, this is, so this is $12 worth of aluminum and rubber right here. Actually, in this economy today, yeah, I absolutely believe that this is $12 worth of rubber and aluminum. But I mean, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be $12 worth of anything. All right, so your whole basic box is a wash. Let's move on to the advanced box. The model bottle, oh, look, these go together. The model bottle with rinse mod. Say goodbye to your cabinet of bottles and say hello to model. I do believe I have seen this somewhere before. And so, wait a minute. So, I guess this goes together. This is like a, you can like set up this bottle to do different things that you want. Right? Now, what is this? Now, this is a $40 bottle. And I think I didn't get it because it looked kind of expensive. So, you get the different mods that go with it. The Go Mod, the Go Mod is, look, it's a squeezy bottle, okay? Flow Mod, it's a straw. It's it's like a like for a Camelback, you know? Pure Mod, it's got a filter in it. The Rinse Mod, it's got like, not a shower, but you, know, you squeeze it. Sling Mod, literally has a sling. And what's next, who knows? So, anybody? Those Jingle Bells. Who's, Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Um, so this is, oh, oh, that's interesting. So metal, um, does it, does it say if it's, I feel like it's aluminum because that's, I mean, I, well, you know what? I don't have to guess. I have some magnets somewhere here and we will know. My magnets are missing. No, oh, we're just gonna guess. We're just gonna guess, because I don't know where those, actually I have magnets up on the shelf over here. Yeah, they're not sticking to the magnets, so it's aluminum. Um, oh, that's it. Okay, so the threads are on the inside. They lock into there. I, you know, at first I was, I was like, man, I don't know, but now the more, like this is very heavy gauge rubber. This is not, like a thin little, like one of those crappy ass little rollable water bottles. This, this is like, if you've ever worked at EMS, this is like bag valve mask quality. This is BVM quality rubber. Meaning, meaning you can, you can mess with this a million times and it's not gonna, it's not gonna pop. So that's like really heavy gauge. So you get these two things on the end. So right away, I mean, just as a water container, does it say what? it holds let me get back to this what is the capacity here uh, uh, 36 ounces okay so that's almost you guys have seen my big ass here it is this is a 40 ounce water water tumbler you know cup that I'm, I'm in the shop this is what I carry every day so we're only like four ounces shy of this giant thing and it's funny because it looks, it really does look a lot smaller. Um, and it's a lot lighter too, because this is steel obviously. So that's cool, that's cool. 36 ounces in here. Um, and then, so then they give, they give you all the different mods that you can get. Um, right now the rinse mod here is, I'm basically the rinse mod, look, it is, it is like you can squeeze water out of the out of the end. Like, I don't want to say like a field shower, but I mean, you can, so you fill it up with water, then you can squeeze. So from a battle box point of view, would maybe a better mod for them to give us be something that purifies the water, like the pure mod, or like even the, the flow mod, or, or just a drinking spout. I'm just curious why, I mean, I'm curious why they chose, why, why they chose the, the rinse. That's, it's an, it's an interesting one. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I'd love, I'd love if anybody, cause you guys know I try to avoid all the spoilers and all that stuff. If anybody has seen like an, a video from BattleBox, why they, why they chose this as the mod to put in there. I just love to know. Because I, I personally think this could have been a great 
This could have been great. Like, you know what would have been an awesome basic box? I'm just saying. Basic box, right? So we've got three items right here, right? Um, basic box, perfect. This, um, and then like the water purifier, and then either the go or the flow. Perfect. Perfect basic box. Probably would have been a little bit more money. They, they wouldn't have made their profit. But, I mean, that would have been fucking phenomenal, right? <sighs> so... I don't hate this. And I am curious about this. I'm curious about how this works. Because, you know, when this is... If it's empty, you probably squish it up a little bit. I just... My other question is... <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. What's the advantage to this over, like, a Camelback? Or another water source? Um, why would this be something you... So, guys, those of you who have real-life experience with this, let me know, please. Let us all know. Why would you go with this over something like, not even like, not even like a literal camel back, but you know, like you can get like a water bladder that fits in any, any, any backpack these days or anything. What's the advantage here? Do you guys like these? Do you not? Why would you use this setup as opposed to anything else that's out there? Um, I'm curious. I'm really curious. I would love to know. Um, and I'm reserving judgment on the, you know, where like it, don't like it, whatever. Um until I get maybe a little bit more experience on how this works. I think interesting in theory, I just, I think maybe they could have done a better, better accessory than this. Although, wait a minute. I found a new way to annoy people. But we'll, we'll see. So let's go take a look at the pro box. Okay, so DD Hammocks, love double Ds. Come on, you know you do. Uh, so this is the tarp 3x3, and it is their recommended shelter for bushcraft and hammock campers of all experience levels. Um, now, over here they have two different, I don't know if there's just, the, what does it come in, like two different colors or something, I don't know. They have given us just a bunch of tarps and ground covers and stuff like that. So, on the one hand, I, I recognize and I feel... What does this say? Designed in Scotland, made in China. I know that there are a lot of people that are like, um, don't give us repeats of stuff we already had. And I, I do get that. On the other hand, when I've said that, some people chime in and say like, hey. On the other hand, when I've said stuff like that, some people have chimed in and said, god damn it, you fucking phone. On the other hand, when I've said stuff like that, some people have chimed in and said like, hey, this could be somebody's first box and they might not have the other stuff. So... I get it. Um, is this different from some of the other ones they've given us? I don't know. And I clearly am not going to be unfolding this whole thing. We're just going to be taking a little bit of a look. Um, nice, like you can see here, like a waterproofing um, on the inside. Now, I don't think it's fully, I think it's more of a water resistance. I don't think this is going to, like in a storm, I don't think this is going to want to see something ridiculous. Oh, it's pretty good, actually. I'm trying to blow through it. It actually holds holds air through there pretty well. Um, it, I don't see, oh, here we go. We got some rope in here. We got some stakes. So it, it's basically, yeah, it's like a, look, you can see the picture of what it does. You, you know, either you're required to have trees or you can, you can get some, some fairly inexpensive, um, polymer or, or carbon fiber um, poles that you can set stuff up like this on. Uh, guys, have I ever told you about the time when I was a Civil Air Patrol cadet and we went up Bear Mountain with the... Uh, it's the one It's the one where I first learned that you don't open a space blanket when you're freezing in the dark and you also... Um, it. It's worth it to bring stuff to stay dry and warm. And anyway... Um, so if this helps you stay dry and warm, good on it. Oh, here's another set. Is that another section or is that just... Wait, I found something else. Another section that looks even more... Is that just the corners? Yeah, that's just the corners. Really well reinforced corners. Um, I don't know anything about this brand, but $74. Apparently, there's a video. Oh, yeah, so it does say it comes in all green or coyote brown. Um, I'm glad that this was uh, olive green because that's the better color, and I hope Steve likes that. Um, they have a video of it. 
This is pro I mean, I think this is a pretty good item too, because what they also don't say, or do they? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> arrange it in an A-frame or diamond over your hammock, and you can use it for ground cover too. Um, you know, I mean, they're showing it like they're showing it in one position, but it'll make a pretty nice just shelter half, I'm sure. Also, um, you know, whatever. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> I could like that. I could like that. I'm sure you could find a cheaper option that's very similar, but I like that. Now I've got only one thing left. My favorite part, although I say that, and because I said that, even if, even if it was amazing, just the fact that I said that, gremlins are now rearranging everything for the Pro Plus to make it suck. <sighs> Let's see what the Pro Plus item is. Please be an awesome knife. Hmm. All right, guys, so here we go. This is our Pro Plus item. This is our knife of the month, or I know I'm not supposed to say knife of the month, but this is the knife of the month. So this is it. This is the Raptor Razor Big Game Skinner. I'm pretty sure, I can't remember when it was. We got another kind of skinning knife tool, whatever, from this company before. And I think I was making fun of it like it was some kind of dinosaur thing. But this is, what is this? So this is the R Raptor Razor Filet Mono Kit. Filet Mono. Get it? Yeah, so this is the for the do-it-yourself fisherman and hunter. With multiple blades, you can easily tackle tough, the toughest projects. All right. 100% machined aluminum. The housing is lightweight. It retains superior strength and durability. Um, all blades are 420 stainless steel. Well, that's not good. That That's not good at all. But, ugh, on the other hand, many, many, many of your common kitchen knives are also 420 stainless steel. But, I mean, if this is an outdoors kind of product, 420 is not a very good steel to use. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. <sighs> I guess we'll see what it is. This has an MSRP of $124.99, so $125. And on the picture, it has all sorts of stuff going on. So let's. So there's this. So let's see. So we've got the handle, which I remember the other handle didn't impress me much either. But so you've got this anodized aluminum handle, which is pre scratched. Thanks. That's cool. Got some screwdriver bits. Interesting. We need screwdriver bits for various things. Okay. You've got a butcher steel. Yeah. Why does this unscrew? Now, I've been guilty of taking the easy way out and not using the exact correct wording for this. So this is not for sharpening, this is for honing. This is That's what a butcher steel is. It's a honing, not a sharpener. It's a honing rod, um, despite what it might say. I don't know why this screws or unscrews. We'll find out in a minute, I guess. What is this guy? Is this, you put your weed in there. Oh, this is a screw, okay. Screwdriver thing. Right, right. This looks like it also unscrews. What's in there? And some screws. Oh, we got extra screws. They look like they fit there, that's cool. I, okay. Oh, nifty. All right, so like multi-use things. So this is a screwdriver and it also holds your butcher steel. And we use this, okay. All right, I'm slowly picking up what you're putting down so we can use the screwdrivers to open this up. Okay, so it, multiple things doing multiple stuff, right? And now we've got a saw blade. Now if this is for field dressing or whatever, this could cut through bone, supposedly. I mean, this is not like a wood saw but it's not, well, it could be. You could do whatever you want. You guys do whatever the hell you want with this shit. I don't care. And then we've got what look like some fillet knives, some fillet blades, filleting. And there's no way I could not do this. There's, there's absolutely no way I can get through this video without doing this. So I'm gonna do this right now. And any, any man who does not do this with these blades, I'm telling you it's not a man. So, I guess the most obvious thing is to run around pretending that you're Wolverine, but no, not me. I'm gonna have to be a Velociraptor, just creeping around going, ah! Ah! 
But there, I, I, if you don't instantly do this with these blades, there's something wrong with you. Or you can punch. Yeah, anyway. Um, so we got the three blades of different, basically it's different lengths. I mean, they don't feel especially sharp. I mean, honestly. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do with this? Um, I don't know. First, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna pick up. All right. So, so we got yeah, and we're gonna yeah yeah. This might be more comfortable to use when it is fully assembled. Oh, I thought maybe this. No. No, this doesn't. This doesn't extend to be a bigger thing or anything. All right. Take the screws out. Now, let's take just the mediumist blade. The mediumist blade, which goes there, and then you know it's interesting. There's nothing like to nothing to like midline this. No backspacer or anything. So that's okay though. There's two holes or one? There's a lanyard hole in the bottom. It looks like a screw hole. And that's all kinds of awkward because this is tightened down right away, but then this is off a little bit because of the blade. And then you have this odd feeling. That I, I don't like that they, you know, they've determined how big your hand is right here because my hand on a full grip does not fit in this. But I have the stupid, big old, ridiculous hands. If you have a smaller hand or you just move it up and hold it, you know, part way, that's fine. But if I really want to get a full grip, I can't. I, I physically cannot. It's not comfortable unless I move fingers up to here or something like that. But so anyway, it is what it is. Um, I do have cutting money. Let's see. Not bad. Uh, you know, I've had sharper. I've had sharper things coming straight out of the box, but they do give you the butcher steel. That actually does feel a little bit better. Okay. Um, so, you know, I, I am, I'm not happy with this as a knife of the month. Um, 420 steel blades. And I, I get that you get different sizes. Now, you know, the only thing that these different sizes are for, I guess, is if you are field dressing different things and you need different reach within the and within the animal. But um, I'm not sure, like, in terms of this kit, why do you need all these different bits? What is this for? Unless they're just like, okay, we're gonna we're just gonna throw these things in here in case you need them. But what do you like in in terms of practicality? In usability for this kit, what do you need these for? Why are they here? Like, it's not a toolbox, right? It's not a tool set. Is there a use for these that I'm not, I'm just not getting? Or like, do they expect you that like in the middle of some kind of, some kind of work that would involve tools, you're gonna whip this kit out to use these these? Bit? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Um, you know, it's just an interesting thing. I mean, I like the finishing on the blades, but it just I'm going to I'm going to test it out. I'm going to I'm going to do a follow up on this just tonight cuz I have meat to slice up for dinner. Not field dressing game, but we'll see how this works with actual butchery, you know? But it as a knife of the month, as a pro plus it's meh. It's just meh. I mean, I can see how it would be a useful set for different occasions um out you know, and just, like, can't, like, forget, like, just not, just field dressing, but, like, you know, you have butchering work to do, butchery stuff, not butchering, but, like, you know, just meat prep, meal prep stuff to do. It's a nice little set. It's a decent set. It's not a great set. But I just, it's meh. It feels meh. It feels cheap in my hand. It's, it's a disappointment as a knife of the month. It is. Well, alrighty then. I, I I don't know, guys. I, we didn't even get a single decent decent knife in this box. I do not count 
like I, I, this has a blade it's not a knife they call this a blade it's not a knife um i have a gun candy coated old school oval hole 440c griptilian that's cool um need some more work but i'm hot i'm sweaty i have a migraine i'm gonna be up all night because i'm having caffeine but that's fine because i don't want to go to sleep anyway because i got shit i gotta do um what do you guys think you could tell me, you know, your opinion based on the whole box. You could tell me your opinion item by item. You could tell me, I really, guys, I really do though. I, I'm dead serious. I want input on this. Boy, is that annoying. Um, tell me what you guys think though, because I'm just getting, remember, I'm giving you my opinion, but your opinion, you know, of what your experience is just as important to me. I want to know what you guys think. Um, yeah. Um, in other box news, I don't know if you guys saw, PMP has completely folded shop. Um, and still, even on his last, on his last updates where he says, uh, you know, I'm, I'm closing the shop and I got everybody their stuff. There's still people commenting saying I had to file PayPal complaints because you never ship me my stuff. Um, sad way to go out. Um, I am talking to some of my Patreon guys. Um, about what our, our newest subscriptions are going to be. If you guys have suggestions of subscriptions you'd like to see, please shoot me an email and I'll talk it over. Because remember, the Patreon guys that pay for subscriptions, they get it in the end, so they always have final say and they have veto power. But if there's something specific you're thinking that maybe we should do on the channel, send an email, let us know, we'll talk about it. Anyway, guys, thanks as always to Steve who funds this fun adventure. He is an awesome dude. Um, let Steve know what you think of this month's battle box. And uh, please remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.